Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from one database in one server to another server using an export command. So here's the process that we're going to do. We have server one set up that's working, but that's not where we want our data to be. What we want to do is transfer it to another server that's using the same database we're going to demonstrate. And the process that we're going to follow is we're going to perform an export and create a text file called a SQL dump file or SQL export file. And that file then can be re-imported to the second server. So the process that I'm going to show you is going to follow through those steps. So here's the setup. We're going to use MySQL as our database. I'm going to show you the tool called PHP MyAdmin, which is what comes with most management systems on MySQL. And we'll create a, a system that has multiple tables, and then I'll show you how the whole process works. So let's get started if this is what you want to know. So let me show you what I've got so far. Uh, you can see that I'm running the uh, server called MAMP, which is for Macintosh. That stands for uh, Macintosh and Apache and MySQL and PHP. That's the four letters for MAMP. And uh, you can see in the background, I have the tools set up here for the administration. So you can see I have a, uh, an app called Music. And inside of Music, there is Album and Track as two different tables. So that's our sample database. And let's see if there's any data in it. So I'm going to check to make sure. We got an album table, and I browse the data. And sure enough, there's a whole bunch of Beatles albums, and they've all got some text in them. So we're ready to go. Now I'm going to switch over to another database. And this one here is a different computer. You can see that I just switched into Windows. I'm in a virtual machine here. And so this is a different kind of server. This is the USB web server instead of MAMP. You might like this one because you don't have to actually install anything to make this work. USB web server means it runs on a USB stick. But um, it's the same technology. It's running PHP, Apache, MySQL. Now, you can see on this server, I've got the, uh, the admin screen up. And there's only one database called test. So the idea is that we're going to add the music application to this server. So let's get started with that. So I'm going to swipe back now and I'm into my uh, previous server. So let's click on the uh, the schema here, music. And uh, the method that I'm going to follow is export. So I click, click on the export tab and then I'm going to get some choices on what I can export. So I can do a quick or custom. So since this is a tutorial, let's do the custom and see what's going on. So what am I going to export? I can check to say, do I want to have both tables or one table? I can rename the exported columns. Um, let's see what else can we do. Save it to a file. Save it as text. Let's see what else there is. You can see that there are other options that I can check and all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to keep all the defaults really and just click the go button. Now when I click this, you can see that I have a export. So it tells me that all of this information is now in a SQL text file. If I were to copy and paste this, I could run it in the other server. So that's one way to do it. I could just copy and paste it. Uh, I'm going to pretend though that this is a really big database and copying and pasting is just not effective. So let's back up one. And let's see, what else was the option? It says I could have save this to a file. I'm going to change that one. So now, instead of viewing the output as text that we just did, I'm going to save it. And it gives me some previews and our prefixes. Let's click go now. And you can see that I have a new file down at the bottom of the screen called Music SQL. So I'm going to show this in my finder. Let's see, I'm going to drag the downloads into here so you can see what I just got. And I'll sort by the date modified. And there is Music SQL. Very good. So let's open this up with some kind of a text viewer. So I have several on my computer. I like Visual Studio Code. And you can choose this with Notepad or anything. But what you should see is the same file that was displayed on the screen. Please go away. OK, so here is the export and import file. Now you notice it is in the Downloads folder. All right, so let's switch over to our now uh, other server. This is the Windows server. And I'm going to choose Import. And let's see what it says. I can import from a file, probably. Here it is, 
browse your computer for a file. So I'll choose a file and uh, let's go search the downloads folder and there's music and click open and now let's click go. Okay, we got a problem. Uh, the export and the import didn't work. So let's look at the details. It says here no database is selected. It's trying to create the album table and I don't have the music uh, schema. Okay, so I want to create a schema that will allow me to import this because it says you have none selected right now. So I'm going to choose the databases command and I could probably either click over here or add it right here, but I'm going to use the, the music uh, title again. So music schema is really what I'm thinking and click create. So now over on the left column, I have music and test. So if I choose the music item, and now it says you want to create tables and all that, I certainly could, but now I'm going to try the import again. Choose the same file, so I'll select the file, click music and open, and now let's try go. And this time, I have a green message that says 17 queries have been executed, and let's go look and see what's inside of music. So now there should be two tables in there because there was a albums table and then there was a tracks table. So I expand this and I can see both of them. Let's try selecting album and now you can see that I have my export and the import complete. So that's the process then of transferring from server 1 to server 2. We created an export file which is a text file and then we imported that into our second server. You could have also copied and pasted it with your clipboard, but this here would work for most uh, large files as well. My name is Shad Sluter, and if this information was interesting to you, then please subscribe to the channel so that you can become a better software developer. I teach software development and computer science at a university here in Phoenix, Arizona, and I would like to have you join me in my class, even if it's just virtually here on YouTube.